Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can fix and correct the white balance in any photo using the levels adjustment layer. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just choose a photo that you'd like to fix the color balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this photo, which as you can see, the color balance is way off on this photo. So we're gonna show you a really quick and easy way so you can nail the color balance, because sometimes you're not sure what's wrong with the photo. In this particular case, the computer does all the work for you. So once you've opened the photo and you've got your background activated, we want to go ahead down to our bottom right-hand corner and we want to choose the levels adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go down to our bottom right-hand corner and I'm gonna go ahead and choose levels. Now in the levels adjustment layer, we want to leave all of the actual histogram information alone. What we want to do is actually use on the left-hand side, we've got these three eyedropper tools. And the middle eyedropper tool is the one we're using, which is called in selecting the gray point. And a gray point is a way of measuring color balance in a photo. You might have heard the word gray card. That is the physical version of this particular adjustment layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on that icon. And now we need to find something that's gray, but there isn't anything that's necessarily gray in this photo. So what we're gonna do is in this photo, we're actually going to use the white of the eyes. So if you don't have a gray card available, always use the white pupils of the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and you can see you've got this big white section here. I'm gonna go ahead and click in the middle and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. And as you can see, that particular color balance has been fixed immediately. And it's a really handy way of working. So if I show you the before, as you can see, it's very green. It's got a little bit of uh, yellows in it. And there's not a lot of reds, which is sometimes found, especially in skin tones. But if we go ahead and clear the after, you can see that's a drastic change. And what you can do now is actually fix the brightness using the levels so you are happy with the result. And I must say, that is a big difference. Here is the before and here is the after. 